गुड इवनिंग एंड आई होप यू हैव एंजॉयड द टॉक स्टिल नाउ सो लेट मी स्टार्ट विथ समथिंग द फर्स्ट लाइड विच यू कैन सी इट टॉक्स अबाउट हाउ टू क्रैक वर्ल्ड टफेस्ट एग्जामिनेशन सी वॉट डिफाइन ए टफनेस ऑफ एन एग्जामिनेशन इज द एक्सेप्टेंस रेशियो that is the number of candidates who are accepted divided by number of candidates who have applied so for those who do not know today is the civil services examination day many of your friends might be giving it and more than a million people are giving it as of now right now the examination is going on if you have to become an ias the acceptance ratio is less than 1 by 1 10000 that is less than 0.01% so you have better odds of jumping from 15th floor and surviving rather than getting into ias so this is me before the examinations a very down to earth geek nerd whatever you want to call it so then this is my life pretty much an average student just like you guys sitting here no difference whatsoever then we move on to never been out of jaipur that is my hometown so till 16 years of age literally i did not visit any other state in my life except rajasthan studied from four different schools because of various issues despite living in the same place for 16 years then sir something happened in 10th standard when i was 14 years old i realized that i was very risk averse i was not taking risk at all then i realized if i am not living on the edge i am already taking too much space despite my frail and fragile personality of 40 kgs still i was taking too much space not in the physical sense but in metaphorical sense so then something happened so this happened so i got into all india institute of medical sciences new delhi at the age of 16 so the this photograph here it actually shows me and my friends reading so that's the only time i read <laughs> then before i turned 18 i had a research published in a reputed medical journal called as journal of clinical anesthesiology so it it was related to the pain management for terminally ill patients like cancer patients and all it was done entirely for fun purposes you will know why so this was the reason so i used to got to used to play with these rats they are called as will star rats highly docile you can take them in your hand they do not move then what happened is after completing my mbbs i just completed 6 months ago in january of 2014 i got into national drug dependence treatment center and there i worked as a junior resident in psychiatry so after that it was an amazing experience for 4 5 months but i had to resign from there why because of this so 2 months ago i was sleeping i was completely asleep on 12th of june 2014 when i woke up it was 8 o'clock in the evening and then i checked my phone there were 308 missed calls and 1014 notifications so anyways after that i went to my home town from delhi and this happened i got felicitated by jammu and kashmir governor both ex chief minister of rajasthan and the current chief minister of rajasthan agriculture minister of rajasthan and a member of parliament then i thought that uh, my experience should not be limited to me so i thought of sharing it so it, they actually invited me on 2nd of july on your story platform it is india's one of the largest entrepreneurial website on an academy we started to give free webinars then obviously an academy is there right now i came to know that we have recently crossed 13000 views per day so that is the status it is india's largest growing educational channel and you can read the stats they are 17639 subscribers and they have already crossed 18000 this was taken in the morning so i also started an entertainment channel for fun purposes so this is our team you can see me sitting here somewhere always in the background this is gaurav anshal you can see him peeping over from here 
then what happened is this so we did a video a short film with babuji sanskari babuji aloknath it was after i became an ias see the point which you should be taking home with you right now is that nobody is a born genius even and including this guy for those of you who do not know please jump from the top floor so nobody is a born genius but what are the differences you are no different please make sure each and every one of us sitting here have the knowledge have the talent have the caliber and have the intelligence to crack each and everything in our lives which set on but the problem is these are the problems you are afraid to come out of your comfort zone you are really really afraid to give that extra push which is required and you are afraid to go against what your parents what your family members want you to do so if you are always afraid you will never take that effort which is required to succeed in such examinations first of all you need to learn how to learn before facing any challenge you need to train for that challenge be it swimming biking riding hiking anything you at any endeavor which you start you have to learn how to learn it so i'll teach you in brief points please pay attention be risk friendly first of all i already told you if you are not living on the edge you are taking too much space sir and ma'am you have to be more risk friendly because seduction of safety is much more perilous than perception of risk we are always seduced by safety and comfort we seek it we crave for it but just once get rid of this natural intuitive feeling and you will see that you are capable of doing miracles and always take calculated risk do not become john rambo and take out entire nation's army single handedly that is called as taking foolish risk you have to take something i called as calculated risk then luck it plays a very very big part it is very important but luck is something called as random distribution it is entirely random any one of you have equal chance of being lucky but as richard dawkins said even the chance of us being born at this moment where you can learn as much as you can about as many fields as you can just by a click of a mouse are astronomically low so please make sure there is an element of luck but you are lucky to have this college education you are lucky to be born in this era so you are already very lucky so you have to work hard to justify that luck which has been bestowed upon by the arbitrariness and randomness of the universe then there is this debate which i constantly sees competence versus confidence so which we should strive for roman sir they ask and come sir are you confident in the examination see i'll be brutally honest with you i'll be absolutely honest because not anything less than that will be disrespecting each and every one of you sitting here fear will never go away please keep this in your head even if you have prepared for anything for 50 years you will be fearful i was fearful giving this talk even after i have done so many things so confidence is not the key competence is the key if you are competent enough if you have achieved something no one can take that away from you please make sure confidence is very momentary kind of a thing you might be confident one day you feel under confident and the other but competence once acquired no one can take that away from you you have to follow something called as rule of 10000 hours i have cut it short for rule of 1000 hours if you do anything for 1000 hours sir and ma'am you will be an expert in that field you will be above 95% of the people in that particular field just for 1000 hours if you practice something you will reach your goals and always like richard dawkins and lawrence cross these are the two most influential personalities one is an evolutionary zoologist another is a theoretical physicist so they believe in the theory of lar lar is logic analysis and reasoning question everything do not take anything for granted always have a rational outlook and that will see you succeed then please stop these three c's i have seen people coming to me now why have you become you are such a good doctor you could have such an awesome career you become a cardiologist a neurologist or what not and you have gone this so called dirty system of ours it will corrupt you and all stop complaining stop criticizing and stop condemning be the change you want to see in the world as 
our great Mahatma Gandhi, the father of our nation said, stop arguing with others, especially with irrational people, because they will bring down to their level and beat you with experience. And the last day which you want to avoid is, stop asking yourself what you want to do with the rest of your life. Even I don't know what I want to do with the rest of my life. So please stop arguing and asking. Then there is something called as the fun part of the Romans rituals. It has nothing to do with me. There was a great Roman Empire 2000 years ago. So they had very simple ritual for their soldiers. Just eat healthy stuff. Don't eat junk. Don't overstuff yourself till food starts to come out of your mouth. Exercise. Not meaning pumping iron for 3 hours a day. Just walk. Just swim. Do yoga. Do meditation. Do pranayam. Whatever you feel is good for you, is good for you. And then sleep. Sleep for 7 to 9 hours. All the toppers I have seen, we are very much from this planet Earth. We are not from Jupiter. We do not study for 25 hours a day. And then, please do not drink or smoke. They hamper your performance and memory formations. Then we have something called as the extremely important concept which I want you to take away from this is delayed gratification. It is a psychological concept. It was done way back in 60s and 70s in Stanford University. There was an experiment involving 5 year old kids. That is the single most important experiment. It's called as marshmallow experiment. They were given a marshmallow. If they would have eaten within 15 minutes, they would have given just that marshmallow. If they could have somehow delayed their gratification, they would have provided another marshmallow. So those kids at 5 years of age who showed delayed gratification had better life outcomes in everything including high SAT scores, better satisfaction of life, higher educational attainments and BMI that is body mass index. So please make sure you have delayed gratification in your life. Then you have to overcome sad. It has nothing to do with your mood. After doing my MBBS, after working as a psychiatrist for 4 months, even from time to time I get sad. That is stressed, anxious and depressed. That is the sad part of the life. Accept it. But anxiety is not bad. See there is a U shape curve that is called as normal distribution curve. On Y axis we have performance, on X axis we have anxiety. So your performance is at peak when your anxiety is at optimal. If you are not anxious at all or if you are highly anxious, your performance will go down. And then finally, be decisive. Please, my humble request to you, be decisive. Either take decisions for yourself or someone else will. Either pursue your dream or help in someone else pursuing their own. You have to do what I called as, there is lack of complete information in each and every decision you will take. You will not be aware about the intricacies, nuances and subtleties which are required to understand the event or person at hand. You are not justified in taking a decision in certain circumstances, but precisely that is required from your part. You have to take a decision in an indecisive environment. So after doing this, what happens is you undergo a transformation. So from this, you go to this. And even better, you go to this. This is your own college campus photograph, so enjoy. See, what I want you to tell is, I have already spoken so much, so I am not a nerd. Some people might come across, you study 18 hours a day, not at all. So I talk about this. Open challenge to anyone, I am still staying here till night. Anyone wants to challenge counter strike, I will pay 10,000 rupees, who can defeat me in it. Or, if you can defeat me in Age of Empires or any strategy game. Or, if you can defeat me in Need for Speed. So I am what I called as a reckless racer, a maverick shooter and a pragmatist strategist. So, please, this is my Facebook page, any query whatsoever, within 24 hours, personal guarantee I will reply. It might not be limited to your competitive examination. Do not start clapping right now. It's not over. <laughs> you can also tweet to me at my Twitter handle, at Romanseni. But since I want you to show something else also, that proves I am not a nerd. 
because many people will be thinking in their head. So I also remember taking one more degree. So, but unfortunately, I could not bring that degree with me or on the slides. So I thought that I'll give you a demo. So I don't know how loud will this guitar be, but please make sure you sing along. सारी उम्र हम मर मर के जी लिए एक पल तो अब हमें जीने दो जीने दो एवरीबॉडी सारी उम्र हम मर मर के जी लिए एक पल तो अब हमें जीने दो जीने दो ना 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 give me some sunshine Give me some rain, give me another chance, I want to grow up once again. By the way, those who doubt, so this is the last degree I had and this is from Trinity College of London. So enjoy the evening and thank you for indulging me. Thank you very much.